Welcome to Power BI Quick Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make shapes unclickable so they don't obscure what's layered on top of them. I'll demo the problem in this report I have here. On the left, I have created a range of buttons that when you click on them will filter the report by year. But if a user clicks on the background shape, it obscures the buttons. As a user, you would have to know that you need to click somewhere else in the report to make the buttons reappear. So not a great user experience. Let's switch to Power BI Desktop to fix this. Here's the shape I want to make unclickable. Now there are a few steps to achieve this, but once it's been set up for one shape, you only have to repeat the last step to apply it to any other shape in your report. Step one, create a bookmark. Open the view menu and go across to the bookmark button to open the bookmark panel. In the panel here, I have the bookmarks I created previously for the year buttons. We need to add a new one. Click on add to create a new bookmark. Click on the three dots on the new bookmark and untick data. Three dots again and untick display and untick current page. This grays out the bookmark and effectively makes it a bookmark that does nothing. Next, three dots and tick on selected visual. As a reminder, these are the options that need to be ticked on or off for the bookmark. And finally, give the bookmark a sensible name so you remember what it does if you want to use it on other shapes. Step two, format the shape. Next, you want to assign this new bookmark to the shape you want to make unclickable. So first select the shape, then go across to the Format Shape panel and turn on the Action option. You need to select Bookmark as your action type and then select the bookmark you've just created. And that's it. You've set the shape to do nothing when it's clicked on. The annoying thing though is that it doesn't work while you're in Power BI Desktop. But if I save this report and update the Power BI app, we can view the report in the internet browser to see if it's worked. So to test, I'll click on the shape and nothing happens. So now the shape doesn't hide the year filter buttons and the problem has been fixed. 